The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, available in print and e-book format on Amazon. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios and sponsored by international award-winning author Mia Mohsen Zia of Missing. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 40 podcast platforms, as well as HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, and the TheMikeWagnerShow.com. We can be heard in over 100 countries, featuring over 1,000 well-known and amazing guests throughout the globe, and named one of the top 100 global podcasts in the New York Weekly Times, Hollywood Entertainment News, Los Angeles Weekly Times, Apple, and Chartable. So sit back and relax and enjoy another great episode of the award-winning Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by SoundWeb Studios. Visit online at SoundWebStudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at SonicWebStudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international war ring author Mia Molson Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia has garnered great reviews and Eve 11 endorsed by Howard celebrities including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manales. So grab your copy today for Goes missing by Mia Molson Zia, available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 plus countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music, and also heard on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and a few other networks coming soon. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast with T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, throw pillows, and more. Also, check out the uh, great merchandise and books by Mia Molson Z on Amazon, including Missing, Once, and Wrinkles. Also, don't forget to support the Mike Wagner Show. Um, you can also support us on Anchor FM, PayPal, themikewagnershow.com. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com at the Mike Wagner Show. Make sure you do so today. We're here with uh, two terrific gentlemen who are fraternal twins, singing duo from Benton, Illinois, which is the heart of Southern Illinois. They're singers, songwriters, musicians, recording artists, comedians, and actors. They're sons of a Baptist evangelist and currently in Nashville, Tennessee. They're on the road right now as we speak. They both began performing at five years old, traveling with their dad. They performed the Grand Ole Opry, TNN Nashville Now, Ernest Tubb, Midnight Jamboree, Heartland USA, and more. They also performed with the likes of George Strait, Kenny Rogers, Glenn Campbell, Paul Anka, Donnie and Marie Osmond, and more. They got inducted to the Rockabilly Hall of Fame in 2013 and Josie Award winners for Doing of the Year in 19 as well. And um, we'll also be talking about their latest release, including a classic that goes, um, oh, I think maybe 80, 90 some years where it's um, somewhere over the rainbow. We'll talk about that. Live, ladies and gentlemen, they're on the road um, somewhere in Nashville, Pennsylvania, wherever they are. They're out to uh, performing the uh, the amazing fraternal twin singer songwriting duo from Benton, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, Dale and Gail Hammond of the Hammond Brothers. Guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. I'm I'm Dale and I'm Gail. Together, Together we're, we're the, the Hammond Brothers. Brothers. Thanks, Mike. We're <laughs> glad to be here. <laughs> what what's great to have you guys on board? I think your introduction pretty much uh, outdoes mine. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that must have been it so much. It's just habit. That, Mike, that, that was quite a uh, quite an introduction. Quite an introduction. Yeah, absolutely, man. You you are out there, and you're really touching a lot of people. Yeah. 
Well, like I was saying, one thing, you guys uh, touched, touched us as well, too. And what you just did, I think it was just great what you guys did. And I see why you guys um, think alike. You guys are fraternal twins, which is good. You're a singing duo from Belton, Illinois. You guys are singers, songwriters, musicians, recording artists, comedians, and actors. You guys are, are sons of a Baptist evangelist currently in Nashville, Tennessee. You're currently on the road right now in Pennsylvania on your way to a show. You began performing at the age of five, traveling with your dad. You also perform at the Grand Ole Opry. TNN Nashville now, Ernest Tubb, Midnight Jamboree, also Heartland USA. You guys perform with George Strait, Kenny Rogers, Glenn Campbell, Paul Anka, Donnie and Marie Osmond, and more. You guys got inducted into the Rockabilly Hall of Fame back in 2013. Also a Josie Award for Duet of the Year in 2019. And you had some previous releases like Rusty Dusty, Let It Rain On Me. You also have a new album out called You Know and I Know. And of course, we we'll play a couple of songs, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, a great classic and also crying in the rain. But forgetting all that, guys, tell us how I first got started. Good uh, good Lord, I'm still trying to digest all that. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and you, will you travel with us full time? <laughs> say, say it one more time. <laughs> what? Just, what, what, just, wait, what was that? <laughs> hey, that was, my mic, that was great. That was a mouthful of mic. And thanks, thanks, thanks for memorizing all that stuff. I don't, I, I, you reminded me some stuff that we did. I didn't remember even did. Yeah, you're reminding us of things we hadn't done in years. Yeah. You know, I need to run you for president of the United Stop, States. You got that, Gil. You got a great. He can speak. I love your. Yeah, I do love your speaking voice, Mike. It's really. <laughs> well, I appreciate it, guys. I don't know about running a country, but um, maybe um, I guess we'll just talk more about it right now. But let's tell you guys. Uh, first got started as well too. If you guys want to run for president, that's fine too. So there's always a co-president. <laughs> so. Sounds good. Uh, anyway, Mike, we got started at, at five years old. Uh, my mother played piano and, at church, and and my dad uh, was also a guitar player, singer, and and they trained us from little bitty kids to sing. And we've just it, it's something that stuck with us, and and uh, it's still sticking with us. It's like this is Gail, Mike. It's so, when you when you when you I think when God gives you a gift and you begin to use it and to develop it, it's something that you'll never ever ever be able to stop doing. And not that we don't want to stop. We just love people. We love to entertain and sing to people. Right, right. And, and Mike, we think this too. We think that 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 uh, music is more than just music. It's a spiritual tool that God uses that breaks down barriers. We were in, in, in Bronx, New York, and we were just finished a show. And we were walking over to the car. And on the way, we went through the street. There was a lot of people out there. They hollered at us, hey, play the song for us. And we stopped. <laughs> we better. So we got the guitar out. The next thing you know, we were surrounded with about 100 people. And we and they they invited us in to eat with them, and they were it was Ramadan, Ramadan. It was Ramadan, uh, yeah, whatever Ramadan is. It's a, uh, I think, a religious holiday for the uh, Arabs. Arabs. Uh huh. And they they treated us like uh, they had known us for years. They were hugging us and they were kissing us, and, kissing us and it was awesome. Yeah, it was just awesome. We, they, they let us eat first, and I don't know what I was eating, Mike. I think I was eating sheep eyes. And, you know, I was good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so bad. <laughs> it wasn't bad at all. No, it wasn't. I was, I was thinking this. I better just shut up and eat whatever they give me. Eat it, and I did. And I prayed, Lord, don't let this be sheep eyes. <laughs> but, it, but, it, but it was. I think it was fish eyes. It could maybe, but, but, uh, but, it, but actually, actually, it was good. It was really good. And we were never received so warmly and loving. These people treated us like, you know, music is a universal language. It speaks to everybody. Yeah. And what, what happened? The music touched these people. And they were dancing in the street as we were playing acoustic guitar and singing. A hundred people, a uh, hundred people, and, and and just more kept coming and more kept coming, and it just turned into a party with one song. We just played one song. And next thing you know, everybody there wanted, wanted us to meet their kids. They were we were kissing babies. It was like wow, it yeah. was unbelievable. So music breaks down barriers, and it's a healing thing. And we know that it's 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 more than just music to us. It's a ministry almost, isn't it, Gail? It is, it is. And we love you. We just love people. And you know, one of the one of our highlights of our career is happening. It's happening. Well, it's happening right now. We're talking to Mike Wagner. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Does George Strait know about this, or um, even Donnie and Marie? Do they know about this? It's supposed to be a secret. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we met the Osmonds and when we were doing Vegas, we were 17 years old. Yes. And and what an experience with Liberace, uh, Don Rickles, yeah. Joan Rivers. You know, I still have their phone numbers. It's just crazy. But people, of course, they've changed them since then. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, <laughs> changed hers a big time. Well, she did. And big so time. did Don Rickles. They're, yeah. they're, they're both uh, 
but uh, not with us. But I'll tell you this, Mike. Don Rickles was the funniest man on earth. He really was. Here's a guy that could walk up, and I don't care what race you were, what what politics you are, it didn't matter. He could make you laugh. Anybody. He, he was just an unbelievable guy, wasn't he, guy? He was. He was. So we met on our journey, on the Hamlin Brothers journey, we have met so many wonderful people and uh, so many uh, so many experiences, and we're still doing it. And we're we're hotter than we've ever been. We're yeah. out there doing our thing. But, Mike, right, but at this point, we need... Right now, the Hammond Brothers, uh, we, we, we just, we just dropped Please it. give us a record contract. We're desperate, I'm Mike. Not, we're not desperate. Stop that. <laughs> Mike, we're, we are trying to get a new record deal because our other record label, uh, went, uh, went under. Of course, a lot of labels are going under. So we need to find a, a good record company we're looking that wants a great harmony act who writes songs, right? That's right. right. Mm hmm. Well, we'll certainly put the word out there. So if you know anybody out there who wants to sign that Hammond Brothers, feel free to do so. We'll um, let you know how to get a hold of them later. And what was that one precise moment that simply influenced you guys into what you're doing for the rest of your careers? So it can be separate. It can be together. You guys are fraternal, right? We are. We are. We are. I'm we are. seven minutes older than Dale. I'm pretty. <laughs> Oh, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I better look at all the girls that I am, Mike. Don't believe a word. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Stop that. But but I, I think I think the biggest one of the biggest influences in our, our, our in, in our lives was our was our our, our 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 parents, and as far as music wise, Elvis Presley uh, impressed us and influenced us. Uh, we've been connected with him. It's strange. We've been connected to Elvis our whole entire lives. Yeah, he was a twin. We're twins, and 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 uh, we got to meet him uh, when we were young kids and uh, sang around the piano, sang around the piano with him, which was a lot of fun. Ray Walker of the Jordanaires, uh, a big influence. A big influence, Ray, and I still talk to him today. Uh, what a, one of the Jordanaires. And, and now Mike Wagner, right? And now a big influence in our life, Mike Wagner. Mike Wagner. There you go, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're making me feel like I'm a guest, I'll tell you, which is great. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> and besides Elvis Presley and um, all the others mentioned, who are some of your other favorite singers, songwriters, and uh, musicians growing up? Don and Phil Everly, uh, in, in, influences the Rockers Brothers, uh, uh, the Bellamy Brothers, Simon and Garfunkel, Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, so a lot of duos out there, really, really. Of course, I love we love single acts. Uh, Roger, Roger Miller. Uh, we, we cut some Simon and Garfunkel songs, didn't we? We did, and they come off pretty good. In fact, what did Paul Simon say to us? Paul Simon called and said, "Stop singing my song." He stopped. He didn't say. It. He said he liked what we did. Oh, he liked what we, he, No, he did call and say, "I love what you did to Homeward Bound." We cut that, and it really turned out good. It did turn out good, yeah. But most of the time, Mike, we write our own songs. Uh, our songs come from, from our spirit, from from down deep within us. So uh, and we usually write about the experiences uh, that we have in life. Right. Uh-huh. And, and certainly, indeed, as well, too, you also had um, some classic as well, too, also some previous releases. And um, we'll talk about you guys um, performing with many of the greats we mentioned, inducted into the Rockabilly Hall of Fame and more, along with your new releases. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia molson -Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson -Zia. Available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first call missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia Molson Zia's Gar Great Reviews and Eve Eleven endorsed by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manils. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia Molson Zia. Available on Amazon. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the Mike Wagner Show dot com with over forty podcast platforms. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon dot com and check out the Mike Wagner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon dot com slash Mia Molson for great books and more. Amazon dot com. Check it out today. We're here with the true terrific gentlemen, fraternal twins, singing duo from Benton, Illinois, singers, songwriters, musicians. Record 
recording artists, comedians, and more. Dale and Gail Hammond of the Hammond Brothers on the Mike Widener Show. You perform with greats like George Strait, Kenny Rogers, Glenn Campbell, Paul Anka, Donia Marie Osmond. You love Donia Marie. And um, tell us more about, you know, performing George Strait. And um, how about some of the others you guys performed for? What, they, what were they like? Uh, George Strait's a great guy, uh, fantastic person, a family guy, uh, good Christian. He loves loves his family. Loves his music, loves his fans. He's just a great, great guy. We mm-hmm. think a lot. Mm-hmm. And as so, far as Don, yeah, I'm sorry, Mike. As far as Don and Marie Osmond, good people. I like the way Mike does his commercials. I'm going to do a little, little thing for you, Mike. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe so, one day you're in a commercial for me. We'll talk about that later. So, <laughs> and the Hammond brothers love listening to Mike, Mike Wagner. Wagner. Oh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And um, you have performed some of the greats as well, too. And plus, you have some great awards. You performed the Grand Ole Opry, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Nashville Network, Ernest Tubb, Midnight Jamboree, Heartland USA, got inducted to the Rockabilly Hall of Fame in 13, Josie Award for Duet of the Year. And, um, you know, tell us a bit about that. And if there's some others out there, you know, feel free to tell, talk about it. Uh, Mike, also, the Hammer Brothers were did a Broadway play called Elvis, The Legend Lives. After Elvis had died, uh, they did a Broadway play, and the Jordanaires were kind of you know, too old to, to kind of play themselves again. So the Hammond Brothers, uh, and me and another brother was with us then, all, all came together with Ray Walker, and we played that Broadway play called Elvis, The Legend Lives. Ray was the uh, fantastic bass singer for Elvis for 14 years. Yeah. No, 20 years. Well, I'm telling you, he did a lot of that. A lot of the uh, uh, movies with Elvis and travel with Elvis in the early years. So uh, yeah, what a what a great what a great guy and a great bass singer. To this day, he's like you know, he's like their nice father. He's just a wonderful, wonderful man, and we love him very much. Uh, uh, Mike, we also worked with a guy that, that, that you probably know. But we loved him, Hoyt Axton. Uh, we did a lot of things with him, acting and and uh, and and singing. Uh, great, great, great. Do you, do you remember him, Mike? I remember him. Yes. Work your fingers to the bone. What do you get? Bony fingers. Bony <laughs> fingers. That was one of the one of his hits. He also wrote uh, Three Dog Nights. I've never been to Spain. Uh, uh, Jeremiah Bullfrog. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He wrote a lot of big hit songs. My goodness, that's a lot right there, I'll tell you. And you also wrote, you also wrote your own material too. You also had Rusty Dusty. Also, uh, Let It Rain on Me and. Um, also, Crying in the Rain, Somewhere All the Rainbow. You got a lot on that. Also, your album, You Know and I Know. Tell us more about some of the songs you did and also some of the other albums as well, too. Well, well Mike, as, as little boys growing up, we used to listen to Judy Garland, The Wizard of Oz, and we'd, mm-hmm. li- we'd always get in front, in front of the TV and waiting for her to anticipate uh, her to sing that song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And we, we never thought we'd ever record it. We, we, were, we, were, we were absolutely captivated when we heard that song and we were just five, six years old. And I said, we're going to sing that one day. And we yeah. finally, and then a hundred, uh, it's a hundred, hundred, uh, I think uh, 90 or a hundred, or a hundred anniversary of Judy Garden's death. It's been a hundred years of her birth. And so, so we wanted just to do that song for her and for her, the people that loved somewhere over the rainbow. And we wanted to do it as close to, uh, her recording as possible. So we used a 30 piece, uh, orchestra and did it as close as we, we could. I didn't think, uh, when we began to sing it, I don't. I don't believe another duo has ever d- done this song. There's been single artists sing it and cut it, but never a duo. But never a duo. So we thought, man, this is going to be hard. And you know, we just fell right into it. It's just so easy and so easy to sing. Just a beautiful song. And, and, and Mike, we, we used the uh, we used the same pieces in the orchestra that Judy Garland did. Now, what, what's weird about this is that Gil and I, uh, uh, about ten years ago, we were playing the Cat Skills and we met Mickey Rooney, and we mm-hmm. asked him all. So we started talking to him. Nice guy, really nice man. Of course, he's he's we went on to be with the Lord now. But anyway, Mickey really we asked him questions about Judy Garden, and he he got talking about her. And next thing you know, he told us all kinds of stories about her. And so we were fascinated with her because of that movie, so, uh, The Wizard of Oz. And so, uh, but I never thought we'd ever cut that song, but we did, and it was just uh, it, it's been really well received. Right, Gil? They said, well, it's we we sang it. Uh, it uh, to me, it's just unique. I've never heard a duo a duo do it. So when we did it, it just something happened. Magic happened. Now Charlotte, Charlotte works for the Hammond Brothers. Uh, we, we love Charlotte. I, you, you know who I'm talking about, Mike. Yes. Uh, and when she heard the song, she said, "I've got to get that to Mike Wagner." I said, nope. <laughs> 
She, I said, you can get that to Mike Budgerson. I'm friends with him. I can get it to him. So here we are talking to you. So she did it. And, and certainly amazing as well, too. Thank you, Shell, as well, too, for getting him on as well. How about uh, talking about crying in the rain and also Rusty Dusty also let it rain on me. Tell us more about those. Yeah, well, uh, uh, crying in the rain, you, you know, the, like there's so much sadness in the world. And, and, uh, and that song's about a guy that, that, that stepped out of, uh, uh, he stepped into a relationship with a married woman, and, and, but he didn't know she was married at the time. So when he found out, he left her. So he, so he stood there crying in the rain and left because he loved the woman. But, you know, you don't mess with married women. That's not a good idea. So he left. And 20 years later, he hears about her having a child, and the, the child looked just like him. So in other words, now he's crying in the rain again because now he's had a child out of wedlock he didn't even know existed for 20 years. Uh, which is a very interesting song. So that's why we call it Crying in the Rain. Hmm, that's interesting. Crying in the Rain. I, I seem to understand that, yes. And of course, Rusty Dusty also let it rain on me as well. Absolutely. Rusty Dusty was written, uh, was written by Bootle and Felice Bryan. Do you know who I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. They're they wrote Dreams for the Every Brothers, Wake Up Little Susie, and on and on. So, uh, Bill said, cut this. Would you cut this? I said, sure. We cut it. It turned out really, really good. At that time, we were signed with Monument, yeah. and Bill O'Brien was writing for us. Yeah. Um, and then we cut Let It Rain On Me. And then we cut Let It Rain On Me. That's, that's yeah. ours. So, a lot of our songs have the moon, rain, and I don't know. It's just a, we're, we're kind of synonymous to uh, uh, with rain and the moon and things like that, but uh, didn't do it on purpose. Just the writing turned out to be that way. And we just well, so we caught him. But we're we're still. We're, I wrote we wrote two last night. Fantastic songs. So we're we're, we're back in Nashville on the uh, 20, the uh, 24, 24th, and then we have a show to do the Hayride show to do on the twenty eighth, and then we're going to be back in the studio in another three week two weeks after that yeah. cutting new material yeah. and, and mike the reason we cut rusty dusty was Boodle, we heard it and, and you know the song uh, talks about you have to uh, the, the world don't owe you a living so you have to get off your rusty dusty and go to work so, <laughs> i like that and i thought wow that, that's, that's a great song Boodle. and we cut it and, and and you think about it we pitched it to donald trump <laughs> <laughs> and he did get off his rusty dusty i will say that <laughs> and it was a great, a great, a great, uh, great song. I really love the song. Well, I guess he finally got to listen. I got to say that. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And we'll also talk about as well. You know, I know the latest album will be playing somewhere over the rainbow in just one minute with the Hammond Brothers. You listen to the Mike Wagner Show at the MikeWagnerShow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor, the Mike Wagner Show, International War Ring author Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon in paperback and ebook. We'll be back no, with Dale and Gail of the Hammond Brothers with Somewhere Over the Rainbow and the album You Know and I Know after this time out. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley and I'm an American actress and a TV host. And I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real life relationship. It's just, it's well written, it's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm gonna highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia, he is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hey, hey, this is Ray Powers, and boy, are you in luck. Right place, right time. Tuned in to the Mike Wagner Show. You heard me. We're back with the Hammond Brothers, Dale and Gail Hammond, here on the Mike Wagner Show. Right now, here Somewhere Over the Rainbow, the great classic done greatly by the Hammond Brothers, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, from Dale and Gail Hammond, on the Mike Wagner Show. Oh, 
the rainbow skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream Really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star And wake up where the clouds are far behind Where troubles melt like lemon drops High above the chimney tops That's where you find me Somewhere over the rainbow Bluebirds fly Birds fly over the rainbow If happy little bluebirds fly above the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Great song. Love that classic. That Hammond Brothers, Dale and Gail Hammond with Somewhere <laughs> Over the Rainbow here on the Mike Wagner Show. And uh, before we talk about the album, You Know and I Know, where can we find Somewhere Over the Rainbow? And uh, love your music, at guys. Well, you, can go, you can go to iTunes, uh, iTunes uh, iHeart, oh, uh, Apple Music, Apple Music. Uh, and you can find the Hammond Brothers uh, on www.thehammondbrothers.com. You guys think alike, and that's great, too. We like having people like that think alike. Let's talk about your album quickly. You know and I know that's out, and uh, tell us more about that album and what inspired you to write it. You can talk about some of the songs, too. You've heard the expression, it's a love, great love song. One of my favorite songs we've, we've, that we've written. you heard the expression, well, listen, like, you know and I know. So I, I, I heard that and said, you know and I know. What a great song that would make. So, so we wrote a song called You Know and I Know. It's a love song. This love was meant to be. And yeah, this love was meant to be. And it's just a, a wonderful, wonderful, feel-good song that everybody can listen to and relate to. Mm-hmm. And that's how that's released now. And as far as I know, it's doing really, really well. I know in New Zealand, 107 uh, in New Zealand, uh, uh, Galaxy Radio, it's, it's really going well there. Absolutely. So we, we, we hope that your listeners will will enjoy, uh, you know, and I know, uh, somewhere over the rainbow, rusty, dusty, crying in the rain, crying in the rain. What another great, great, great song. But we are really, really blessed and privileged to be on your program today, Mike. We really are. And to, ha- and to be able to do music for a living. Absolutely. It's, you know, it, it's, it's a great thing. Sometimes I think, God, I'm making all this money. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I made thirty five dollars a piece last week. Thirty five dollars right? a week last uh, piece last week. No, uh, I'm waiting for someone to tap me on the shoulder and say, Hey. What do you guys think you're doing? I mean, <laughs> Wagner show. you can't be on the Mike Wagner show. How did you get on there? Anyway, uh, uh, it's a great thing to be able to make a living with the talent that you have to be able to touch people's lives and get paid for it. Mike, I do it. For, I would do it for free. That's how much we love it. And we 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 we, we donate a, a lot of money to uh, to. Yeah, don't, don't, I, I take care of most. Of get Mike. I take care of most of girls' money. Oh, no, you don't because Mikey's. I'm out. good with money. Now, wait a minute, you're always losing money. No, I'm not. Okay, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, I'm gonna give, give you a test. test. I'll give you a test. If you can pass this test, then 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 I'll start giving you all your money. Okay, fine. If you had a dollar in your right pocket, uh-huh. and a dollar in your left pocket, uh-huh. what would you have? Mike Wagner's pants on. No, girl, no, he's <laughs> like, okay. you flunked the test. No, he's girl. rich. No, okay. you stop that. No, come on, girl. Okay, I'll take care of your money. I'll, okay, I'll okay. be taking good care of that. Mike. Fine. No, you uh, mind. Let's get back to Mike. I'm right, sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. <laughs> oh, I wish I had a dollar to give you guys into uh, seven fold and more. <laughs> Mike, the music business to us, singing and writing, we do it for free. If we never got paid, 
We love it that much, and we love the people that much. Hey, we love Mike Wagner show, too. And now we love the White Mike Wagner show, absolutely. We want to be back, right? We want to be back. Mike, have us back. Like, have us back. back. Oh, you know something? <laughs> I think you guys can write a song about that, and I give you permission to write about the Mike Wagner show. Can you guys do that for us, please? I'm, I am going to write you a commercial and record it and send it to you. Sounds good. That'd be so great. In the meantime, where can we find uh, You Know and I Know at, guys? Uh, you can find it at the, uh, at the uh, uh, iTunes. You can find it on the uh, Apple Music. Uh, uh, all, all, all the social medias. All the social medias are open for that. The, the songs there. Or you can go to www.thehammondbrothers.com. And if people want to know any more information, they can contact us there. We will certainly do so. We're here with Dale and Gail Hammond of the Hammond Brothers here on the Mike Wagner Show. I had a lot of fun with you guys and love to have you back on again. And what else can we expect from you guys in 2022 and beyond? The Mike, you, you, can expect, uh, you can expect more songs, uh, more, uh, more concerts. And I think someone mentioned the Huckabee Show. Oh, well, yeah. Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee. In fact, so uh, we're probably going to end up doing that. We're going to do that pretty, probably pretty soon. Mike Huckabee. Yeah, we, we love Mike Huckabee, don't we? We do. He's a pretty good guy. Yeah, and a good kisser. Well, he's got a kiss. I'm going to try to fun with you. Don't oh, say that. Mind. We want to be on the show. Mind. Yeah, we can't be on the show if you don't say that. Fine. I'm going to say Mike said it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Mike, you, you, we're, we're, we're also involved in uh, a series called Lost and Lonely Highway. Uh, it's a uh, television series. A comedian. Where Dylan, Dylan and I are always running out of gas. When we run out of gas... To the next concert, we're on the way to the next concert. We get abducted by witches. We get abducted by witches or goblins or ghosts or whatever, and we somehow seem to get out of it. It's a great, great series. If that thing takes off, wow. So we're doing that. That's a lot of fun to do that. It's a lot of fun. So we have two episodes cut, and we're cutting another episode of Lost and Lonely Highway probably sometime in October. And certainly looking forward to it. You guys really know how to stay busy. And by the way, you know, thing I was thinking about, you know, Mike Huck- Huckabee kissing and all that. Richard Dawson <laughs> did that back in the day, too. And I'm sure Richard would be smiling about that if he Mike Huckabee was kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mike we did that. <laughs> no, I did not say that, Mike. Mike I'm, kidding, not- I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Oh, that's a that's a career ruiner. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I'm just kidding. Kidding. Oh, he'd laugh. But he'd love us. I think. I hope. Oh, de- oh, definitely, definitely. And uh, who do you consider your biggest influences in your careers, guys? Well, Mike Huckleby. Mike Huckleby. <laughs> no. Now, now, Mike Huckleby. <laughs> no, uh, actually, actually, uh, it's, it's it's people like you that help artists like ourselves that give us a platform to reach out to people. Yeah, it's, it's, it's people in the business that, that reaches out, that are, have a positive influence on others. And I have to go back to in the beginning, Dale. Uh, Elvis Presley influenced us like we've never been influenced well, before. Uh, true, and, and then and so, so did, uh, so did uh, the Everly Brothers as the well. Everly, Don and Phil, absolutely. In fact, you're telling about the guitar? In fact, we have, we have a guitar that, that one of the Everly Brothers uh, heard Gil and I sing it. And, and they walked up to us and, and anyway, give Gil... One of the one of the, one of the guitars that they'd used in concert before. We still got it to this day. Oh my gosh, that was yeah, something! Was, yeah, <laughs> a big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what's the best advice you guys can give to anybody at this point? Well, if you if if you have the talent, you have a God given gift, and your heart's in it, and your heart and mind and soul's in it, and you care about people. You have to care about people. Obviously, don't stop doing. Don't stop. You keep going, no matter how many blind alleys you go through, no matter how many times you're stopped, no matter how, how many times you're down, you just have the tenacity and the uh, gumption and the will and the power to get back up and continue moving forward. And faith in Jesus Christ. Absolutely. And that's a very great testimony as well, too. Once again, Dale and Gail Hammond of the Hammond Brothers here on the Mike Wagner Show. Guys, a very big thank you for your time. You are absolutely terrific. I just love having you guys on. Looking forward to having you again soon. Just keep us up to date. Definitely keep in touch. I'd love to have you back. And once again, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact? Where can people purchase or check out your music? Well, they can contact us at www.thehammondbrothers.com. And uh, right there, and there's also a phone number that they can call and get us. Uh, and also, you can you can you can uh, you can uh, uh, watch watch all the outlets, uh, Instagram, uh, all the outlets. We're on all the outlets, and you'll you'll find our stuff. It's easy you to find. Catch us on YouTube, right? You can catch us on YouTube or everywhere. Okay. So join our YouTube channel. Yeah, 
Join the join our YouTube channel. The and remember, Hammond brothers, right? The Hammond, just simply the Hammond brothers. So, My, yeah, what a privilege and an honor to be it is. Thank you. Hotel and I have had a, such a great time. And great, and great having you guys and again, and uh, looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you guys keep us up to date, keep in touch. Love to have you back. We wish you all the best. You definitely got a great future ahead of you. God bless you guys. God bless you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much. Have Mike. a great day, man. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. It's time to say goodbye You're married to another guy This crazy love just won't fly So kiss me one last time goodbye Now I'm standing in the rain Feeling all the pain As I walk away in the rain You can't see my tears as they wash away Now it's a dirty shame I guess we're both to blame I gotta walk away Ooh, I gotta walk away Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Hey everybody, my name is Forbes Riley, and I'm an American actress and a TV host, and I was delighted when I got my copy of Missing, which is Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People based on a real-life relationship. It's just, it's well-written. It's amazing. You know, it talks about a man who has lost his wife and his daughter, and it's very well done. I'm going to highly recommend that you go get your copy of Missing. It is a powerful, exciting read. Mr. Mian Moshe Zia. He is the author of Missing. And I want to give a big shout out and a kiss all the way halfway around the world to my dear friend. Check him out at Mia's website. It's called www.miamotionzea.com. Missing. Available on Amazon. Again, I'm Forbes Riley, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show. 
brought to you by international award-winning author Mia Mosin Zia of Missing and powered by Sonic Web Studios. Be sure to join us again on over 40 podcast platforms and of course on the MikeWagnerShow.com, HamiltonRadio.net and Diamonds FM. Don't forget to support our program with a generous donation at the MikeWagnerShow.com. Thanks for listening.